guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with my November TBR. I almost said October. It is already almost November. I am pre-filming because I'm going out of town this weekend, so it is the 20th that I'm filming this. I still have a good 11 days to finish my October TBR, so fingers crossed I get those read, but I have replenished all of my little prompts. It is like bursting at the seams, thanks to my Patreon. They gave me tons of new prompts, so very excited for those. And so I'm gonna go through everything that I have to read this month. I have three that are on my TBR and I might pick, I think, eight prompts to make 11 books because I typically read around 20 a month, but some of those are arcs and some of those are for work. So I feel like 11 books is good. So the first book I have to read is for my Historical Hellions book club that I run with Samantha and Christy. And we are going to be reading a Beverly Jenkins book. We are reading A Chance at Love, which I'm so, so excited to read a new Beverly. I have not read this yet. I am wary because it's Kansas <laughs> and I don't love American historicals unless they're Queen Bev. So this one is a mail order bride. So the, his nieces beg her to be their mom. So she goes and she abandons her California plans and goes to Kansas to live on the frontier. So we'll see how that goes. And then with my Patreon, we do read a Nora Roberts book a month. I thought I own this in hardback somewhere. I swear I do, but I don't remember where it is. But I have the paperback. It's under Currents. This one is one of her newer ones, and I have been liking her new newer ones a lot. We read a Nora book a month, and this takes place in North Carolina. Ooh. So he grew up in a beautiful house, and his own aunt across the lake sees his parents as successful surgeon and his wife, but he knows the truth. Cracks reveal themselves in their family. Years later, he returns to his hometown to reconnect with people, and there's a landscaped artist named Darby he falls for. I wonder what the suspense is going to be. I don't know. We shall see, but I'm excited for this. And then I do have my Patreon jar pick. I'm actually about to read the one from October right now. I'm not the best at picking these up. I should do a video catching up on them because I've missed a few months in a row, but I am going to be reading the one next as in today I'm going to start it. But the one that's going to be for November is... Ooh, do I own this one? I feel like I read one of the books by this author. Let me see which one. I picked... It's Ellen heart and I picked one of hers I think is my first one out of this jar and I didn't like it so this is another one by Elodie Hart I don't know if I read this one so this one says undulate which I read unfurl and I didn't like it I gave it three stars but undulate I feel like is the one most people like so we'll see um, this says that it is a hot age gap single dad romance MMC who's wounded and widowed Ooh, okay Okay, so maybe I will like this. I did not like Unfurl, so we'll see. This was Christy who had submitted this one, so I'm gonna be reading Undulate. We'll see how this goes. I'm a little concerned since I didn't like book one, but I do feel like book two people will talk about more, so we'll see. But then I have all these prompts, so we're gonna go ahead and find them. I have books here, I have books over here that I haven't been able to weigh, I have books behind me, I have books everywhere that are up for grabs. This is just like easily accessible of what's on my TBR, so. We're going to read a book, oh, that I have that is signed by the author. So this means it's something that I probably got at a book signing. So, ooh, let me see if this is signed. So I did get this in the mail, and I've been wanting to read it, and the author sent it my way. But sometimes they sign them, sometimes they don't. So this is signed. I will be reading Passenger Princess by Morgan Elizabeth. I've been meaning to read this for so long. Her new one comes out this month too. I believe either at the end of October or early November. So I'm behind on her releases, but Passenger Princess is a bodyguard romance. So I want to read this and I'm very excited. And it is signed by the author because she did send me a copy. So I'll be reading that. Good first pick. I'm very excited. So what else am I going to pick? I feel like really dig because all the new ones are at the top. Okay, then we have read a sapphic romance. Okay, actually, where was it? I feel like I just saw one. I still have to read the Christmas sapphic that's on my TBR for October. I'm going to be listening to that this week. So that's one that I was like really, really excited to read. So I might read then. The Oh, well, okay. I actually have two sapphic romances on my October TBR I still have to get through. But I will go ahead and do this one because I know I can get this on audio. We have How You Get the Girl by Anita Kelly. I still haven't read this yet. And this one is a basketball player who's a coach now and a single mom. But I think she's a foster parent. One is the basketball coach and the other one is the WNBA, ex-WNBA player who is the foster parent of one of her players. So it sounds fun. I'm excited. I love Anita Kelly so much. So I want to add that to my TBR and it'll finally force me to read it because I have not gotten around to it yet. And then 
So that's two. We have read a book with four words in the title. Ooh, okay. Um, we have we have a lot. We have a lot of options. That has four. This I was I was on. Oh oh oh. Am I gonna read? I kind of want to add this. Oh, but should I read? Should I add some fantasy? I think I'll do a novel love story. I haven't read this yet and I do really need to read this before the end of the year and it's a novel love story which is four words. A counts as a word so this one is Ashley Poston's new one and I just need to make time to read it and November I am not traveling anywhere once I get back from Vegas. No travel plans whatsoever so I would love to read this. That is three. Oh, and I think this like has to do with books and like your favorite book comes alive. But hers always have like a little magical sense to them. So very excited for that one. Then we have a read a book you will think will be a favorite based on tropes. So my favorite trope is second chance. Ooh, do I do the X vows? I love a good second chance romance. And I think that I will read. This is forced proximity at a wedding second chance romance, which I love those. So, and it says like things can get messy with their friend group and I've heard really good things about this one. So let's go ahead and read The X Vows by Jessica Joyce because I do think I will love this based on those tropes for sure. Yes. Then we have, there's two in here. These are all my new prompts. Blindly pick a book to read. Ooh, okay. Where, where do I want to go? So that means I have to close my eyes and just do I do it from my cart? I kind of know where things are there though. So I'm just going to like reach behind me and see if I haven't read one of these books and see what I land on. Oh no, I read that one. Okay. <laughs> what about this one? Okay, that's not working. I've read half of these. Oh, okay. I want to add this to my TBR. It is so long. Hold on. Oh, I reached about the way back here. And it technically is, I have two copies of this because I have one that I was sent and one that is the like raised edges one and I pick, I, I touched the other one that's further down there. It's all the way down, down there, but um, this is the other one that's closer to me. So I didn't touch this one, but I touched my other version of this book. So we're going to be reading <sighs> Love Unwritten by Lauren Asher. I don't know if I want to do the audio because it's so long, but I still have not read this one yet. And isn't he a single dad? He's a billionaire, yes, and a single dad. Um, and she is an unemployed songwriter. Oh, it's a single dad nanny. So, okay. We're going to be reading Love Unwritten. I'm getting to all the trad books I never got to, <laughs> to this year. So, um, I, I need to read these badly. Okay, so then we have read a book with orange on the cover. So, I already have the one. Ooh, do I read? I have two options. I can read. I feel like this has this. Does this have orange enough? I don't know if that's orange enough. Yeah, I mean it's fire. But I could also read Spark of the Everflame, which let's read Spark of the Everflame. I need to read this so badly, and I know that I am behind on so many fantasy romances, and this was just re-released. So I don't know if I'll just get the Kindle version to read, but I do really want to read this. And I don't know if it's been updated or not from this edition. So whether I read this or read the new copy, I'll be reading Spark of the Everflame. And all I know is her mom disappears. An opportunity arrives to enter the dark world of descended royalty. So we're going to be reading that one. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have two more left to pick. So we have read a book you bought because of the cover. Okay, so a lot of these are books I was sent and didn't necessarily buy. So let me look and see what else. Ooh, I did actually buy this book because of the cover and I didn't know it was republished. So I, I don't know what it is about this cover, but this book I literally only wanted it because it's pretty and it's Mia Sheridan. So this one, and because, ugh, look at this. <gasps> this one is a, I guess it was called Savaged before, which like I understand why they changed the title, but I don't know if it's the same because they never changed the audiobook. They just reprinted this, which thank you to those of you who told me in one of my videos. So this one, she's a wilderness guide, which I love things that have to do in like the wilderness. She's in Montana and she has to help with a double murder investigation. And I think that it's this guy who just like lives off the grid. I think it's going to be their romance. They're going to have to figure out who's killing these people. So I'll be reading that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. A lot of these are like at the top of my TBR, so. Okay, the last prompt we are going to be picking is, 
as all these, I'm telling you, this is stuffed full. I don't even know where I put my lid. There it is. My last prompt is read a book about a book or author. Oh, okay. So I feel like I had one. What do I have on my TBR that's about an author? Oh, she's a librarian. Do I read this one? So she's a librarian and she's been secretly in love with her best friend for years and he gets engaged and she's gonna move on. She catches the ex-NFL player and older brother, the man she's been pining for, confessing his feelings to the bride-to-be at an engagement party. Um, so she convinces him to sleep it off Oh, so then they arrive at the family brunch together and everyone thinks that they hooked up. And so I think that they have fake dating and then they fall in love. Mm, okay, so this is like, it's not a, a writer, but she's a librarian. So I feel like that's close enough because I think it's going to take me forever to try to book about a writer or books, but she's a librarian. So like it's in the book world, so close enough. So we have eight books that I'm going to be reading on top of the three that are already there, and I am very excited about this stack. Books that have been my TBR for too, too long that I really wanna read, so I cannot wait to read these. So if you have made it this far, Oh, if you made it this far, leave me a dinosaur. I didn't know they had really cute dinosaur emojis. So if you made it this far, leave me a dinosaur. And that is all I have. Let me know what you're excited for me to read and what you are going to be reading this month. I would love to hear. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.